With the washer on off valve, sometimes you run into instances where you have a slow drip leak from either the hot or cold side, or maybe even a gusher where it's actively leaking and you need to troubleshoot that and get that problem fixed. But first, immediately, you just want to stop the water so you can keep the water onto your house but not have any water leak at this on off valve. So the question is, how do we fix that? Get the water stopped and have peace of mind that we're not gonna have any water leak. The nice thing is it's a very easy fix and all you need is two three quarter inch FHT caps. Now what is FHT? That just stands for female hose thread. Just like your on off valve here has MHT or male hose thread. The key to these caps working is to actually have the seal inside. Without that seal, these caps are going to be completely ineffective. It's just like your hose in the yard. If you've ever tried to hook up a hose and you don't have that red or black seal inside, you know it leaks all over the place and you can't really get it to stop. So you can pick these up off Amazon. There's a link in the description or you can just run down to any home improvement store and they should have those in stock. All you have to do is place those on the on off valve, tighten them down, and you really don't even have to over tighten them. The seal is really the thing that's gonna stop that water leak. Now I put these caps on whenever I'm working with a house and I have the water on, but I have no washer hooked up. Maybe I'm renovating a project, I don't have the washer in place yet, but I have the water onto the house, so I like to cap these off. And I also do that for rental units where someone might move out. If I don't provide a washer and dryer, they take those with them. And just for peace of mind to make sure I don't have a water leak that would cause a much bigger issue, I cap those all upon move out. So then when we're showing the property, they're capped and we're safe. So those are the two instances that I use these caps and it's just a smart maintenance item. It's gonna cost you four or five bucks. You can always have these readily available and just put it on your move out checklist or on your rehab checklist. And you just always do that. It takes one minute install and it can avoid issues in the future. So that's it for getting the water actually stopped. Now you might need to troubleshoot, install a new valve. Maybe you have some issues with your plumbing that you need to address. But for getting it to stop, this is a great solution, super quick, and it'll get you back up and running. Now, before you take off, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, don't forget to do that as we have hundreds of videos and multiple videos coming out per week to help you save time and money around the house. And we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.